So before we go any further, I'd like to let you know that this is a sponsored video by Artlist and Artgrid. I'm hoping that by doing something a little different here, anyone who would otherwise run for the hills after learning a video is sponsored, will stick around and have a listen to the ideas behind the video and decide whether or not to apply them to your own work. Experimenting in an abstract way is an absolutely fantastic way to practice your craft. Whether that's cinematography, music, painting, photography, etc. Feeling your way through something intuitively, rather than taking a calculated, planned and precise approach, can often open up new ways of thinking about your ideas and your creative process. Now often, works like this can be seen as pretentious or amateur, and although this criticism isn't always unfounded, I think that dismissing this sort of thing can actually hamper creativity and prevent people from trying new things and broadening their creative outlook. Music, or lack of, is an extremely useful tool when you're trying to heighten the mood or feeling conveyed in your work. We browsed Artlist here for some darker ambient pieces that would fit the moody, mysterious vibe we put together with our images. This is pretty easy to do, using the genre selection and combining it with video theme or mood. You can even narrow it down even further by selecting the prominent instrument used in the piece. If you like a track, you're also able to click through to the artist's page, where you can browse the rest of their work. This is great if you need more than one track, but want a consistent style across the piece. Over on Artgrid, we wanted to find some clips that we can mix in with our own, and some colours and textures we could use as overlays. The categories you can choose from are broken down really nicely, as well as your list of themes you've got a shot type with a good amount of subcategories. This is great if you're looking for a really specific set of clips. For our video, we used the search tool and typed in horror to find some clips to go with our dark theme. We also searched for abstract to find our overlays. So platforms like Artlist and Artgrid don't just have to be about your background music for YouTube or for filling in shots in promotional videos or films. They can also be used in a way to help you practice your craft and experiment with images and sound. Experimenting is a pretty important part of the filmmaking process for me, and to have easy access to high quality music or images is a great way to play around, practice and learn new ways to convey messages, ideas and feelings in your work. I think just making little experimental pieces like this, with no restrictions to what you can do and no expectations in place, is a great way to keep an open mind to new ideas and ways of working, and can help you to think better on your feet when solving creative problems, whether that's in your video work, photo work, or any other creative field. If you're interested in signing up for Artlist or Artgrid, there's two links below in the video description. If you sign up using my links, you get two extra months for free. Don't forget to check back in with my channel next week, when we're going to be looking at lighting in a small space. If you're interested in how I colour grade my work, I've just added a 21 minute tutorial video to my website for just £8. The tutorial takes you through the grading process in DaVinci Resolve for two cinematic looks. A more modern, punchy look, and a more classical, filmic look. I've also included some practice DNG files so you can grade along with the video. Head over to www.robellicinematography.com forward slash downloads to grab the video.